Hey there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, your favorite robot. I'm Cairo. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to OTD. Beep boop bop. Beep beep boop bop. <laughs> Just kidding, it's me. How you doing, kids? Boy, oh boy, do I have some really good news to share with y'all. Hey, me too. Jada, you're here. Hey, wait. You have good news too? Big time, but you can go first. Uh, are you sure? Oh yeah, I'm excited to hear yours. I'm sure it's really great. Oh, it definitely is. So you know I've been wanting to become a robot this month? Uh, yeah, it's just a little obvious. Well, I think I finally figured out how to become fully robot. Fully robot? Yes, I've been in this suit for the past three weeks. It's simply just a shell, but with my latest calculations. I think all I have to do is connect this auxiliary cord and secure this panel cover here. And then the final touch. Which is? A drop of H2O. H2O? So like water? Yep. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, Carl, don't robots and water not get along because of the electricity? Oh, Jada, listen, I can't expect you, a non-robotic friend, to understand. <laughs> All right, if you say so. But I do understand your worry. Electronics and liquids have a troubled history, but that is why I am only using a drop. No more, no less. One drop in my robotic transformation will be complete. Are you ready, J uh, ready Jada? Ready. Are you ready, kids? Perfect, let me hook the cord and secure the panel. Oh, here, oh, here. Uh, mm. yeah, connection. Connection, connection complete. All right, now to secure the panel, duct tape, if you will. Yeah. Panel secured. And now for the moment of truth. A single drop of water on the program's mainframe. All right, easy Carl. <laughs> oh no, Carl, are you okay? Uh, I think so. I mean, yeah, I think I'm okay. Man, that stinks. I'm so sorry, Carl. Will your robot still work? I don't think so. Yeah, it's okay, though. I guess it was a little silly thing, and I could, I don't know, change it into it, robot. But it was fun, right? So much fun, and plus, I look cool. Anywho, what about your good news? Oh, yeah, of course. Now, I was reading in the Bible today, and I found something that really made me think of you. Really? Where in the Bible? It's in John chapter 11. It's a wild story. You find it? Yep, it says... Ugh. Yep, it says the death of Lazarus. Lazarus? Why does that sound so familiar? Well, he was Jesus' friend, and one day he became a very, very sick. So his sisters, Mary and Martha, sent Jesus a message letting him know his good friend was not feeling well. Oh good, so Jesus wanted to take care of him and heal him? Actually, no. Jesus decided to continue his ministry where he already was, but Lazarus grew worse. Oh no! He was so sick that Lazarus actually ended up dying. Why would you let that happen? <laughs> Listen, Carl, sometimes people get sick and get better, and sometimes they don't. Jesus definitely has the power to heal, but that's not always the plan, which only God knows. I know that's not always the most comforting thing to hear, but... No, Jada, even though I don't understand how some things work sometimes, I learned that I can always trust God. Anyways, please continue the story. Well, some stories don't have a happy ending, but this one does. So Jesus told the disciples they were going to go visit him. And when they got there, Lazarus had already been dead for four days. When Martha and Mary saw him, they wished Jesus would have come sooner so that maybe Jesus could have healed him and kept him alive. Right. But I know Jesus had his reasons. Well, everyone was pretty upset. And when Jesus was taken to the tomb where they laid Lazarus, Jesus even began to cry. Oh, well. <laughs> Now I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> but Jesus didn't stop there. He asked that the stone in front of the tomb be pushed away. Whoa, why? 
uh, a body in a tomb for four days, that is going to stink a lot. That's what they said, but Jesus persisted. Once they removed the stone, Jesus prayed to God and then commanded in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. What does Jesus think he's doing? He's dead, right? He was, but then suddenly Lazarus, still wrapped in cloth, head to toe, walked out of the tomb in front of everyone. Are you kidding me? This is a real story? It sure is. Jesus raised Lazarus back to life. That is amazing. Jada, that is really good news. I had no idea Jesus could do something so awesome. Right? Jesus shocked everyone and they couldn't believe it. But that's why I couldn't wait to share with you the fact that Jesus could take such a sad and terrible situation and change it to a day of new life and celebration. Wow, you are totally right. I don't know about you, but there's some times where I just feel hopeless or like I don't have any help at all. But you're saying that Jesus can and will help me? Totally. Now, it may not be when we want it, right? Just like Mary and Martha wanted Jesus to come sooner, but he didn't. Yeah, what's up with that? I mean, I love that he helped Lazarus, but like, why wait till he died? Why not just heal him when he's alive? Well, Jesus told them he wanted them to see it happen so they would believe he was who he said he was. Martha doubted Jesus would raise him, her brother, from the dead, but Jesus told her this, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Whoa. So them witnessing Lazarus die and then come back to life made them trust in God even more? It sure did. It also proved something important. You see, people in life want to be in control. They want to choose what job they have, what school they go to, or what they want to eat for lunch. But there are some things that are out of our control, things we want to change, but we can't. It's because we're human and no matter how hard we try, there are just some things that we cannot change. But that's what's great about Jesus. He has taught us that he can change anything. Wow, that makes a lot of sense. I guess I'm pretty grateful to know that Jesus is that powerful and he loves us that much. It's pretty great, isn't it? Hey there, kids. I don't know about you, but I had an awesome time sharing the story of Lazarus with you and Carl today. But it wouldn't be a good story without a big idea, which is Jesus can change anything. So let's shout it out loud on the count of three, okay? One, two, three. Jesus can change anything. Awesome job, kids. Yes, tremendous effort to the children. Hey. Thanks, Robot Carl. <laughs> well, kids, that's it for today, so we will see you next week. Whoa, Carl, be careful. For what? Is there a bee? Oh! Oh, you will love this hurts me. Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of 